everyone, it's Sandra from Midwest Charm. I am coming to you in my paint clothes today because I do plan on going outside today and finishing up some projects I am working on, which includes a dining set. I gotta move over my thrift doll here. Uh, a dining set and a few other things that I'm trying to put the finishing touches on. Um, I just have to say, we've had a lot of bad luck, me and Katie, when we've gone out and hit yard sales. And it was getting to the point where we were honestly getting discouraged. And last weekend when my daughter was in from Arizona, we hit the jackpot and it was like, what the heck? So this week we hit some yard sales and I gotta say, we came home, we scored. But on top of that, we hit a Goodwill and Michael's clearance areas. And I gotta say, I am so thrilled. I'm actually gonna have to put this video in two parts because the Goodwill stuff is way over there and I can't even reach it. There's so much stuff around me. So what I'm gonna do is start with the yard sale stuff. Um, I had therapy and appointments on Thursday. It did not go how we had hoped and I don't wanna discuss that right now because I'll cry on video and I'm not prepared for that. But on the way home, we did stop at one yard, a couple yard sales, but one yard sale in particular, we just were grabbing stuff left and right and had a nice pile going. So I'm gonna go over that stuff first. So I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll start with these candlesticks that are back here. I got a set of three and they're all varying sizes. So we got these two and a third one. And just for comparison, see if I can get them out on here. Um, they're pretty hefty. They're pretty big. Um, there's a set of three. I pay $1.50 for each one of these, which is a great deal because even at Goodwill, I'm paying more than that. Let me move these back out of the way. Okay, also at that yard sale, uh, we got this cutie that will get some paint. And we got this basket for flowers and once you see my Michaels haul I will have stuff to put in here I'm really excited about that will probably get a coat of paint as well most of these things will this may not this is just a little tin a little French um, perfect to put some plants in. actually it says the garden so yes it would be perfect to put some plants in we got oh, this heavy-duty Lazy Susan's I've been on a Lazy Susan kick lately um, Target's dollar area, I can't think of what it's called. Um, Target's dollar area has some Lazy Susans right now and I've been buying the wood colored ones. They're not real wood, they're just, if you get them wet, they're gonna be a mess. So make sure if you paint them like I did, you seal those things up good because they are gonna get swollen if they get wet. But this thing is heavy duty. Paid a couple of bucks for it. I, we paid less than 20 bucks for everything at this yard sale, which included a couple of sweatshirts and things like that as well. Um, I got a hoodie for Charlotte and a, a vintage champion sweatshirt and a few other things. So those aren't out here because those have already been nabbed. We got this little container with the lid and it's got like, um, like a faux leather on it, but I'm still going to paint this thing up anyways. Um, cause I think it would be really cute with some paint on it. And then wax over it so that all the details from that texture which i think you could see with the light there all the detail from that texture will pop through this is from um a previous yard sale and it just didn't get brought in until now it's just a starbucks glittery cup um a lot of times if these are in immaculate condition i will throw these up on ebay or my ebay but i think this one's actually gonna it's got some dings on the bottom so I'm just gonna actually keep this for one of the kids. We use those non-stop in this house. And then we got this great, it's a Better Homes and Gardens, so it's just Target. Char is showing you her unicorn she got. Yes, yes, she got a stuffed unicorn. Oh, and some little people in a bus. And some My Little Ponies. See, these are in the hall, but she's making sure they are in a bus. Awesome, you wanna go bring little? No, that's not all, but do you want to bring them in your room when you're all done? Mm, not yet. Not yet. Do you want to show them all? And some other little things. So anyways, this tub I paid four bucks for, which I know these things are right around 20 at Walmart. So I feel I got a great deal considering it's brand new with all the tags. So I don't know what I'm going to use that for yet, but I love it. 
Did you get all your stuff showed? Yay, bring them all in your room now, or in my room, that's fine, because that's where you're watching TV. Let me move all this, and we'll start with the next sale. So we went out again yesterday morning, because we had seen an ad on Facebook Marketplace for one, not too far from a house, about four miles from the house, and we were really excited about it. It had home decor, and it's a yearly annual yard sale for them, and I was super duper excited about it, and it was overcast yesterday, a little drizzly, a few sprinkles, and we couldn't find the signs. We drove by the house itself, and it didn't look like it was going to be set up at all, and when we went to go look for the ad again, couldn't find it, so I'm guessing they rescheduled it because of weather conditions, so we just kept driving. <laughs> Because what else are we going to do? We were already out. We had Char with. And she wanted to go yard selling. She hasn't been yard selling since last summer. So we kept going. And we found... Um, and we went to two stores and two Cub. We did. We went to two other stores and to the grocery store Cub. Yep. So we kept driving. And then we found some neighborhood sales that yesterday or Friday would have been their last day of the sales. But a couple of people opened up for Saturday because they didn't get rid of as much stuff as they had hoped. So... We didn't buy a whole lot other than Char's um, little people bus and the little people and then her little, I think she showed you her like like Shopkins, but I don't know if they're Shopkins or not. But we got them at one yard sale and we were like, oh man, what a drag. Let's just go to Michael's and Goodwill. And I found an airplane that's white. Yeah. So we stopped at one last sale in that neighborhood and as I walked out, it was just me because Char we had her toys and was going to play. And Katie said, well, if you need me, I'll come up. So I waved her up because as I was picking up these cool candlesticks, they've got some really awesome texture on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know where these were so... a oh, Pier 1. These are Pier 1 ones. So we've got them in two different sizes. Two different sizes. We have three of the bigger and then two of these smaller ones. And I'm grabbing these because there was my small ones were marked 50 cents, big ones were marked a buck. Again, good deal because I normally can't find candlesticks under a couple of bucks anyways, even at Goodwill. So I was really excited about that. When the lady who runs was running that sale comes out and says, everything's free, grab what you want, please take it home. Score. So, also at that sale, we grabbed um, some shelf brackets. I've got a total of four in this size and then two more that are a little bit bigger. I got some free two by fours. Those were marked a dollar. I would have been happy to pay that because I didn't have to cut them. Don't need to do anything other than sand and paint those babies down. Um, a set of four cloth napkins in like a dark, I don't want to say black. They may have been black and faded, but they're more of a charcoal. Uh, a cute little wall pocket that says hope it needs some touch-up paint done to it um some curtain rings with the little hooks for like uh, drop cloths and there's some knobs now i wasn't really crazy about these because they're just wood ones i've got a bajillion of those but what i grabbed these for were for these old ceramic ones i've got one, two, three, four, five, six of these ceramic ones, and it already has all the brass fittings for it. So I don't even have to go find those. So that was really exciting. So all of that for free. So we were pretty stoked at that point, and we're like, you know what? We're happy, we're content. Let's just go on to Michael's. So we went to Michael's next, and then Goodwill. And then on the way home, we also stopped at another yard sale close by our house which had the unicorn Charlotte showed you. It had this little bird male sorter, which I adore. I will probably spray paint this, I'll be honest. It'll probably be white. Um, I, I love it to death, absolutely love it, 50 cents. And then, you all know, I love painting bread boxes. Love, love, love. And I will grab them if they're under, I'd prefer under five, but I will grab them if they're eight bucks too, just because I, I do love making them so much. Well, I found my first metal one. So, nice vintage metal, let's see if I can do this. Ah, it's decently clean. So this baby is gonna get some paint. I paid $3 for this, super excited. So this will be done, I'm hoping, 
this week, but I love it. The paint's all worn off. The decal on it's worn off. It's not worth trying to just even cleaning it up. It's a mess. It's It definitely needs refresh, so I'm really excited about that. Um, let's get to the Michaels haul. Now, while this is not thrift, it's not yard sale, it's still, we do a lot of clearance shopping there because I'm able to pick up things at a much reduced price. And, and this stuff is still in the bag, by the way. We haven't even opened it. Um, and I can still flip these or use them in my own home. So they have all their spring and summer decor 70% off. And I have my receipt right here so I can even tell you what I paid. These are, I've got three total of these earrings. Sorry about the noise. I've got three of these. And they're actually, these ones are lighter than the other one. But let me grab the other one. It's just under some stuff here. Uh, we also at this one got Char a little puzzle that she could color because she likes doing her crafts too. Um, and she already did one of them. She did the puzzle already, but I have some other stuff we got for her too. So we got these urns. They are normally each of them. Let's see, this one's not heavy. They're two different sizes. I got two of this and one of this. And they are normally $14.99. And we paid for, I want to say $4.50 a piece for those things. Yeah, $4.50 a piece for those. And I will most likely cover these up with some paint and distress to get all the texture to come back through. And that will come back through because it is part of the plaster there. Move all this so I can get the rest of this. Um, like I said, we got Charlotte some that puzzle, which is not in here. But we also got her these little magnets, and they ended up being 90 cents. And she can paint those or color those. And she loves to have her little projects to do when I'm doing mine. So there's a butterfly, a heart that says you are number one, and then a star with a paw print. So we got those two. And then I got a few florals. I'm loving the colors that are out for fall. And while these are not fall, these were in with the, I think they're all marked spring ones. Um, I like that these are really close to some of the fall colors that are the, the peachy, apricotty, dusty color. I love it. Um, a little bit of dusty rose there. And then a little bit of a corally color almost. And I'm not entirely sure. These won't be bundled together, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use these for. But I have some options with some of the pieces that we had picked up earlier. Let me put these in the urn for right now. Oh, all of those were around a dollar to like a dollar twenty-five. They were not pricey at all. Um, dollar twenty. Um, I can't even see the rest. Thirty-six cents. They were really, really cheaper. I wouldn't have gotten them. Um, I got two lampshades, two galvanized lampshades. They were six bucks a piece. We need lamps desperately in this room that I'm in, which is our upstairs family living room. Um, there's no lighting in here whatsoever. And I, we didn't realize it when we moved in, so we literally have a hall light or the kitchen light or natural light, and that's it right now. So um, I don't have the bases, but I really regretted not grabbing those the last time I was at Michael's for $6. I love them. I can paint them. I can do whatever, but I really, really, I think they're adorable. I uh, also got some bows. I'm not one that would normally buy bows. I would make them, but these were really good, and I have a hard time with fine motors still because my wrist doesn't move the way I need it to. So I grabbed some of these off of clearance, and these were under two bucks a piece. I'm trying to dollar thirty-seven for some of these. So is that flowers? It might have been flowers. Anyways, they're all under two dollars. So I got some burlap and then some lighter colored burlap. Uh, some ticking stripes, which I love, and then just a buffalo check. And those will most likely go on either, I'm making some wreaths with embroidery hoops, and they will either go on those or they will go on signs. So I was really excited. Then this last thing, I think I'm keeping for myself. I eyeballed these the last time we were at Michael's, and I just kept saying, I wish it was cheaper. The price on this it's $45.99. I won't pay that. And I've never seen one in the wild. So they're just a drying a plate rack. 
and I don't even know where I'm gonna put it, but I had to have it for $13.50. $13 so um, we got this, and this will go probably in the kitchen or on my dining room table. I'm not entirely sure yet. I just fell in love with it. So I'm gonna see if I can scooch over and just pull the Goodwill stuff over so I don't have to pause and restart. So give me just a second. One armedness, and this is not fun. So, Goodwill. There's a few things you won't see in here. Um, Katie got a DVD set she's been dying to find, and that was not in this. There is. Give me a second. Good pick of my knee, right, guys? Okay. I'm going to start with this because. I need it moved. All right, so everything at Goodwill was right around $50. I don't have the receipt near me, but whatever the price is that it was marked was 30% off because I had a coupon. So we scored in the galvanized and farmhouse decor. I am so thrilled. So we're gonna get started with this stuff. This was, $9.99, which normally I would be like, it's a little bit higher than what I like to pay, but I could literally turn around and put this in the store without doing a thing to it. I will most likely dry brush this with some teal, um, but I'm not sure. It's, it was originally at Home Goods for $24.99 um, with a compare at price of $40, but it's huge. It's huge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hooks. Um, for the price of the hooks alone, worth it. Um, arrows are in always, so a uh, pretty good deal there. I'll try to get that down without, there we go. Let's see, we'll go, there's so much over here. Um, this next was $4.99 minus 30%. This is actually gonna be kept for us. I will kind of refresh the bow a bit but I wanted a Jingle Bell wreath for a while. But again, in the stores, they're pricey and I didn't want to make one. So five bucks minus 30%, yes, please. So that will actually be mine. And this will actually be Katie's. She loves sunflowers. I don't know if she plans to keep it as is or what, but that will go in her room. Oh, this was $1.99 minus 30%. Um, next, we got this, which is a little chalkboard on it. I will probably update the paint and maybe even the chalkboard. Um, it's a little mushy right now. This was $2.99, which is weird that this was more than the sunflowers, but again, 30% off. I was happy with the $2.99 price on this. Um, it's cute. It should sell pretty quickly. Throw some cute little flowers in there like I just picked up. Um, and speaking of flowers, we got this cute wall pocket with a handle. The handle needs to be rebent a little bit. I'll get one of the boys to help me with that. Some great raised decor on it. And this will get painted and distressed. I may, I may leave it. I'm not certain. This was $5.99 minus 30%. Oh, also for me. It's just a piece of restaurant ware. It's a smaller platter. It was $1.99. The mark is, I've got bad lighting in here, guys. Um, I don't know, I cannot even read it. Made for Omaha fixture and supply out of Omaha, Nebraska, but I can't read where it's from, but it was $1.99 minus the 30%. There's that mark. That's gonna be my personal. Also, my personal is this embroidered dishcloth. It was 99 cents. It's got our lovely farmhouse stripes with sunflowers on it and butterflies. I fell in love with it. That'll get put in on my coffee station. I got two little. These are the exact same. I'm sure these are probably out of the cheapy area at some point. But they're actually heavier than like some of them. These were 99 cents each, minus that they've got, they're gonna get painted. Distressed, I, I had some in my last haul that I painted, I think two hauls ago, um, that are in the store now. 
and one is a navy blue and one is like a it's called serenity blue but they're more muted folly colors and I was really happy with how those turned out I'd probably do these white or cream I haven't decided yet cute little galvanized tray with the brass colored handles I don't think these are real brass this was $1.99 I will probably leave this as is because I love the handles I love the contrasting um oh speaking of galvanized I have two of these these were $4 a piece, $3.99 minus the 30%, and they're actually pretty dang heavy. Um, there's two of them. They're made in India. I can't see. Neither of them have their original tags on them, but, but they're pretty heavy duty. I was impressed with it. It might even be heavier than the one I showed at the beginning that was bigger from Better Home and I think these are heavier than those, so really happy with those. I've already actually sold one of them. So, um, I also got this little planter box with the little cute beadboard. Um, I may pick the star off of here and redo it. This was $4.99 minus 30%. That will get painted into some fall colors and some fall flowers stuck in there for now um, and then brought up to the store. And last but not least, I feel like I'm missing something and I probably am because there was so much and it's been taking up my living room and I swore to my husband I would have it cleared out before he got home from work and it's an early day for him. So I'm moving quickly. Um, I got a magazine rack with a handle and it is, I don't know if you can see it, it's heavy, I don't wanna grab it with my other hand. Um, it is black with red, um, distressed down. It is, Five, it was was five ninety nine. Came from Home Goods. I don't know what it's got. Cute little ball feet on the bottom. Um, design style. I was trying to see if I could see what Home Goods sold it for, but this Goodwill is really good at covering up those prices so that you don't get to see those. <laughs> I don't care what they previously had it at. I want to know what kind of a deal I'm getting. Show me. But this will get some paint. I will probably, I'm not even sure. This was actually marked $19.99 at Home Goods with a compared to $35. So those stickers will get all peeled off. It'll get a fresh paint job. Um, not crazy about the black and red. Just not. So we'll get paint on the, all of the, a bunch of this stuff and it'll all get brought up to the store. Um, also this week that's not inside um katie went and picked up oh wait i don't even i didn't even get to these oh my gosh i was so excited about these too this was 2.99 the screws need tightened on this little enamel red colander i think it's adorable i will may actually keep this and put it on my counter haven't decided but the other one i got has got the copper outside silver in this is $3.99 and there is a stamp made in Korea on the bottom. Um, brass handles. I mean, it's got all the metals going. I freaking love it. I don't know. I had to get both of these and I don't even know why. I just did. They were calling my name. So those we got two and both of the, again, everything there was 30% off. So we paid 51 something for all of it at Goodwill and I rounded up but I was really happy with that haul I mean between the artists oh it's going on about what else we got this week Katie got three wood bar stools um and we got four antique chairs that need to be reupholstered and they need some love there's they're worn they're dirty they came from a house with kids most definitely which not gonna knock because hello me too um and then she picked up for me a pile of scrap wood, which has nice sizes in there, already pre-cut for signs, just need to sand the edges. I got some boards that'll make good shelf sitters or get hooks on the back to make for signs. There was so much good stuff in there. I'm really excited about that. Um, so we've got those two. Those will all get put out in the shed for now because there definitely wasn't room in my living room for it. And my garage needs emptied. I've got a huge Queen Anne high boy that I'm going to get brought in by the kids today, add the hardware to it. It's completely done. It's been sealed. It is gorgeous. I love it. I'm really excited how it turned out. And then I've got a dining set that just needs to be sealed 
and have the cushions put on, which my cushions are right over there. Again, taking up room in my living room, which, you know, why not? Um, but I've got to get that finished up as well. So I've got a lot of projects you'll see coming up on my Instagram. I keep going. I mean, I'm like, what you see on there might not be in like the store picture. It might be in store pictures like already or past or sold. So um, those are all gonna be shown soon so keep your eye on that um, if you have any questions feel free to ask I always make sure to check my comments and answer them otherwise please like subscribe share watch for more farmhouse DIY stuff and we'll see you next time